Okay, so just to pick up where we left off, uh, what we did is we set our drive back up uh, in order to spin a high RPM. We turned our dial up here to maximum RPM in order to presume cutting the rest of our post. So we're just going to seal this up. I uh, have the power off. Uh, what we're going to do is just change out our thread cutting tool for our left hand cutting tool. So we're going to spin this around. And it's always kind of good to just make sure your center is still snug here as you advance. We're just going to check that. It seems like it's pretty tight. Can move a, move, has a little bit of play. We can move it in a little bit. So you don't want to move it too much now that the, uh, the aluminum is much thinner because we made our threads. You, again, if you tighten it down too much, you can risk uh, over clamping, over tightening, and, and bending the, the rod. All right, so you want to make sure that this is nice and straight. Go ahead, tighten it down. And then to complete the rod, um, what we're going to be doing is basically translating about one and a half millimeters, uh, which is basically going to be the buffer area. So you can see that here. So that's going to be the part that, that stops uh, the thread from entering any deeper into the stage. Uh, and then we're going to advance 35 millimeters up the post. And then we're going to use a cutoff tool to cut off the top. Uh, and we're going to clean up uh, that bar or that burr uh, with a different process later on. The diameter of this rod is going to be 3.5 millimeters. Um, diameter here doesn't matter all that much. Uh, just the length is going to be one and a half millimeters. So let's go ahead and we'll get started. All right, we're going to turn on our start power to our lathe, turn it on. What I'll do is zoom in so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Here we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just zero that out. And we're going to take a clean cut, zero this out. And for now, we're just going to go all the way down just so that we can mark our end. So, um, we're going to move it one, 0.5 millimeter, and then we're just going to start to advance a little notch, bring it back out. Zero it again. And now a distance of 35 millimeters. Just 35 rotations. And now we're just going to carve a notch to mark our end. So we'll shave a little bit over, that's about a millimeter there. Bring it back to the start. OK. 
Okay. So what we want to do is just get everything measured up, see how far we actually need to move. So remember, we're looking for a diameter of 3.45 millimeters. And right now we're at 6.22. So basically you want to take 6.22, subtract your achieved diameter, which is 3.45, and then divide it by 2 to figure out the amount of radial uh, uh, material you want to remove. So that's about 1.385 millimeters. So right now uh, we're, at, we're zeroed, so we need to move this stage total distance of 1.35 millimeters in order to get to the, the desired shape that we want. So we're going to start to now shave off material little by little, probably two tenths of a millimeter at a time, uh, until we get to that area in that point. Double check our numbers here. Okay, so 3.45. Okay, we're actually right at 3.46. So we'll just do one more pass and clean it up. Now, what we're going to do is swap out our tools here. And we're just going to place our cutting tool into place. Looks like it's pretty dirty from the last time I used it. Let me go ahead and clean that off quick. Again, make sure it's nice and straight. like I have the wrong Allen key here. Here we go, it's six. Okay, again, don't over tighten, just tighten so it's snug. And we wanna bring it back to where we wanna cut. And now we're gonna go ahead and make our final cut for the final part. So there's our part. Go ahead, back the center off. That's our final piece. That's the post that we were after. So again, just to compare that to the other part that we wanted to make, pretty spot on accurate. Now what we want to do is just test the threads, make sure that that thread's in there okay. And it does, thread's in there perfectly. Nice and snug. And there we go, now we have our post. So the next thing I'm going to be making, we're going to clean it up a little bit, but we're just going to use a regular grinder in order to get that burr off. The next thing we're going to make it, be making uh, is actually the, the post holder. So this is basically going to slide right over top of the post, uh, and then there will be a threaded bracket here that allows a swing arm to come out, and then that's going to hold our specimens in place. But really the idea is so that now what we can do is raise and lower it, and then we'll have a little tightening clamp uh, to have it on the side here. So there we go. That's that's how you would go about making the post. It gives you some good starter information on how to best use uh, your your lathe. And what we'll do next is actually do uh, again the um, the area that's going to fit around the post, and I'll walk you through about how we're going to be building this in the next set of tutorial videos. Thank you so much for watching.